All right, fellas, 2023 is nearly over and December is practically tomorrow. What's the plan for the holidays with the Discord server? Aren't you the owner of the server? Why the heck are you asking us? Even though Donnie has the crown next to his name, this server isn't just his, it's all of ours. Exactly, George. But I feel like just like how we made Halloween themed videos for the month of October, it's only fitting to make some Christmas themed videos for December to end off the year. Oh, thank God it's not Halloween again because Joseph was a cry baby the entire month being scared of literally everything we talked about. That month made me a stronger Biden and I'm ready to conquer anything. I survived being in the same Discord call as Michael Myers, Jason Voorhees, and Freddy Krueger for crying out loud. I mean, I guess Joey has a point since practically everyone that comes across them is toast. But if you're brand new or don't know, we have different playlists for every type of tier list and video we make. So all of our Halloween themed videos are in one playlist along with all of our snack tier lists, fast food tier list, chips, and a whole lot more you can enjoy are in its separate playlist just for you. And since we're making a goldfish tier list today, this video is gonna go into our snack playlist. Ooh, goldfish, are we talking about the snack that smiles back? Goldfish, the fun little crackers always baked and made with real cheese. The snack that smiles back. Ball sack. Whoa, 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 what? what? What the hell did he say? Oh, what? I don't remember the goldfish slogan being that. Yeah, it was more like this. The snack that smiles back. Goldfish. The snack that smiles back. Goldfish. Ah, uh, yes. That iconic slogan. I remember watching all the goldfish commercials back when I was a little cowboy. It's not as iconic as my McDonald's slogan, and we all know it. Oh, can you please go one day without talking about McDonald's? That'll be the day you give up ice cream forever. Yeah, that's not happening. You know, I, I didn't realize there was so many flavors of goldfish out there. There's a lot I didn't even know that existed. Oh yeah, there's a bunch of tasty goldfish flavors that you have to try. Damn, that's a whole lot of goldfish partner. But I do remember they had those goldfish puffs. They were kind of like those Cheeto puffs, but in goldfish form. These look way more artificial than all those other goldfish flavors we just looked at. They sure as hell hit different since it had a stronger taste and felt like Cheeto puffs that were extra cheesy. I think they uh, discontinued these goldfish because Jill and I haven't seen them at the grocery store. That's a shame since those were some of my favorite tasting goldfish. All right, let's get this goldfish tier list started with already so we can start on our Christmas themed videos. Let us know in the comments which Christmas videos we should make and be sure you subscribe and turn on them notifications just so you don't miss out on our Christmas themed videos in December. First off, we got the original goldfish, which is pretty weird since you'd think the original flavor would be the cheddar, but those two are two different flavors. Why is is this even a flavor? How is having no flavor a flavor? Yeah, I don't know about this one, Chief. Whenever I think of original goldfish, I think of that classic cheddar flavor, not this sad looking goldfish. This flavor just ain't it, bruh. It's going straight into the awful tier, but next up is the classic cheddar goldfish. These are overrated as hell. There's plenty of goldfish that taste better than these. Now that's a terrible take from you, Donnie. Why are you hating on an iconic flavor? I don't want to hear it from you since in our Oreo tier list yesterday, you're the one that said gluten-free mint Oreos are better than original Oreos. Now, what kind of preposterous statement was that? Yeah, so what? You guys are both tweakers. Who doesn't like cheddar goldfish? It's the most popular and all around flavor for just about anything snack related. Exactly. You can never go wrong with this taste so that this is going into the God tier. Now that's a wrong tier placement because these extra cheesy pizza goldfish are far superior. How are you not gonna like the OG cheddar cheese goldfish but you like this extra cheesy goldfish? Nigga, you make zero sense. Stop questioning my opinions like you question whether or not if you like all that meat. I don't think that's even a question for Barry since he loves meat. Really now? Y'all are so immature and always turn our simple conversations into something weird. I mean, Barack does have a point. Well, uh, back to these uh, extra cheesy pizza goldfish. They taste exactly like pizza. And usually these flavor blasted ones are a lot better than the normal goldfish. You're right about that, but I think the pizza flavor can get a little too repetitive with these. Sometimes the taste can be a little overwhelming, but I still think they're a goaded bag of goldfish. Parmesan is next up and this bag reeks of weak old spoiled milk. I don't know about you, but sometimes I love getting a whiff of a block of Gouda cheese or some of that Parmigiano Reggiano that's been sitting in the cabinet aging like fine wine for a few years. What the hell is wrong with you? You're a weirdo, Towers. No, no, I agree with George. I kind of like the smell of cheese too. All right, you guys are gonna make me throw up. Oh, stop being like that. It's just a little guilty pleasure of mine just sniffing cheese, especially at the grocery store. Now you're just pushing it. I'm never touching a block of cheese at the store because of you. You sniff cheese at the grocery store too? Same here, my little Biden nose loves it. Yeah, that's not the only thing you love sniffing. I have a good reason to sniff the cheese at the grocery store since I have to make sure it's good enough to take home. All right, just shut up, George. You know that 
there's some things that you really don't have to mention or say to us that you should just keep to yourself, and that's one of them. But we're all best friends and best friends. Tell each other anything, even if it's a little crazy. If that were the case, then Joseph over here would have came clean and told us that he rigged the election. Oh, shut your trap. We are not going there. We are here to talk about food, not dumb politics. Dumb politics? No wonder why you're a terrible president and America is in shambles. Joey's right. Just shut up about politics and rank this amazing smelling Parmesan goldfish. All right, you tweaker. I personally don't think these are as good as the cheddar, but they're not a bad flavor. I'm just going to put them into the good tier. And moving on is the s'mores flavor, which is my second favorite pack of goldfish. Now we're talking with this perfect flavor. This is like three flavors in one since there's chocolate pieces of goldfish, marshmallow pieces, and graham cracker pieces all in one bag. Ah, yes, who doesn't like s'mores? Every time Laura and I go camping, we always make s'mores, and we're the happiest wife and husband ever. Ah, s'mores are so much fun to eat and make, and in goldfish form, it's like you're a kid again. This has to be the best flavor of goldfish they've came out with since I can eat three bags of these, and I'd still want more. Oh, imagine putting these goldfish inside an actual s'more. It would be a s'more exception. Not gonna lie, I would do that too. But anyways, this is an easy god tier, no question about that. Ah, uh, look what we have next. This is a classic goldfish colors. This is like the Skittles version of goldfish. You can taste the rainbow with all the different colors. I'm sure Obama would be fond of this flavor of goldfish since he's a part of the LMNOP community, huh? Again, Donnie, shut up. I swear these rainbow goldfish taste better than the regular goldfish. There's just something about them that tastes different. Yeah, it's probably the unnatural color dye that you're tasting. It probably is, but what Whatever it is, these have more flavor. I agree with George. Whether or not if these taste the exact same, they still have that classic cheddar taste. So it's a goaded bag of goldfish for me. What's up, losers? How's the vibes? Oh, look, a crippled old man joined. Oh, look, there goes my brain cells jumping out the window being in the presence of a dumbass. Haha, <laughs> nice one, bro. So, uh, how's these past few weeks without having an arm bill? Oh, it's depressing. Every night I curl up in a ball alone in my bed and cry myself to sleep. Oh, man, that's so sad. It's definitely not a perfect ball you curl up in since you only have one arm. You're gonna be my 13th reason why if you keep this up, you douchebag. For those of you that don't remember, Bill and I went to these Halloween trips last month and we sort of had actual goblins chase us and this fool Bill tripped and broke his arm. But that wasn't even the worst part. Remember what I told you guys last week on that ice cream tier list? Oh, how's your arm, Bill? My arm's fucked. The doctors had to chop that shit clean off to save my life because it got infected. Jesus, so you only got one arm now, Bill? Yeah, and I lost the lawsuit trying to sue the Halloween Trails company. Damn. Damn, bro. I told you. And now I'm bankrupt and lost all my money because of those damn lawyer fees. Damn. 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 Oh, and my wife left me. Damn. 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 Yeah, and that's not even the worst part about all this. I was halfway through playing Spider-Man 2 when I broke my goddamn arm. Now how the fuck am I supposed to finish the game with just one arm? Tough luck, Bill. Yeah, so your boy is utterly screwed for life and I'm just about ready to be six feet deep right now since I can't even finish my goddamn Spider-Man and every girl I talk to just leaves me after they find out I have one arm I'm just not good enough anymore okay Bill can you get this sob story out of my VC we're not here to hear your life story we're here to rank goldfish did I ask for your opinion and are you five years old or something talking about goldfish and then that's kind of crazy that goldfish is more important than your quote-unquote homie dude chill out Donnie our friend is in need of our emotional support. We'll get back to the tier list in a little bit. Jesus, Donald, why are you being such a prick to Bill? A few minutes of him venting to us won't hurt. Common L for Donald L. Trump. It's all right, boys. I've already accepted the fact that my arm will never come back. Now you're built like Anakin Skywalker with half an arm. Oh, yeah, that's right. Why don't you get a robotic arm or something? I would, but remember, I'm bankrupt from those lawyer fees. Plus, I ain't trying to be a damn cyborg the hell. Wait a second. I know how you can get your arm back, Bill. Oh, shut up, Towers. I don't need to hear another joke to make me more depressed. No, no, I'm not going to be sarcastic. The answer is time traveling. Yeah, I'm out of here. Wait a second, Bill. He's not joking. Bullshit. Oh, my gosh. They're right, Bill. You can use George Washington's DeLorean time machine to get your arm back. Bullcrap, what's that powdered wig nutbag's number? Here, I'll DM his Discord tag to you right now. Uh, so you guys are for real that he can time travel me back to those haunted trails and prevent me from falling? I doubt it, but I guess it's worth a try. Oh, look at you being a great friend again, doubting that I can possibly get better. Whatever, I'm gonna message him right now, but if it doesn't work, then it was nice knowing you boys. I hope it works out, bro, but all right. Now that that's out of the way, you want to help us with this tier list, Bill? Whatever. Now, what kind of goldfish is this? Since when did they have a cookies and cream flavor? Since forever. You're missing out if you haven't tried these. Just like the s'mores goldfish, 
There's different flavors inside the bag. There's the chocolate fishy and the vanilla cream fishy. The hell? They got a s'mores goldfish too? Somebody buy me that ASAP. This flavor is basically Oreo goldfish, which is a tremendous idea. Anything Oreo flavored is a W in my books. Wait, uh, did somebody say my name? These are going into the God tier, obviously. And next up, we got pretzel goldfish. The frick pretzel goldfish, bruh. I don't know where I've been or if I'm catching dementia from Joseph, hey. but the only goldfish flavors I remember are those LGBTQ colored goldfish, cheddar obviously, pizza, and parmesan. You're not missing out on this goldfish though. This one's pretty trash. I think it's a cool idea, but I don't think it works that well with these goldfish. If it had chocolate inside the goldfish, then it would have been a better flavor. Damn, I didn't even think about that. Well, I don't think these taste that bad, but compared to a lot of these flavors we're ranking, they're just mid. How many times am I gonna hear the word goldfish? But finally, here's a normal flavor I've had before. Put this shit in God tier, boys. God tier for this? I don't know about that one. Uh, I think this is pretty up there since you have the best of both worlds when it comes down to that cheese taste. Yes, sir. You got that cheesy pizza taste with that wonderful Parmesan cheese taste. Maximum cheese. It's a little too much cheese. The only good thing about this mix is the pizza. Shut up, Toupee. If I had my other arm right now, I'd grab two handfuls of this and throw it right at your face. Well, you don't, and you're not gonna get your arm back. Stop killing the vibe. I'm gonna slap these hoes into the god tier, boys. Now, Bill, just put them in the goaded tier. I think that's a fair place since this isn't on the same level as bussin' as s'mores and cookies and cream goldfish. Oh, so now you're killing the vibe too, huh, Barry? Whatever, man, but the hell is this kitty crap doing on the tier list? Shut up, Bill. Don't disrespect my pretty princess goldfish. You gotta be kidding me. Bro is 80 years old, geeking out over some fairy tale lovey dubby happily ever after garbage. My birthday was last week, and I am actually 81 for your information. Get it right. It was your birthday. Thank God, since it's one year closer to death. Haha, uh -huh. I admit that was a good one, Bill. Hold up a second. I know this may sound weird, but I swear these goldfish taste saltier and cheesier. Saltier? I don't know if that's a good thing, but I wouldn't know since I've never tried this before. What are you guys talking about? It's literally just the classic cheddar flavor, but with a stupid princess theme. Well, technically speaking, it's not. This bag has more sodium, so it is in fact saltier, just like you after I became the president. Yeah, this demented pile of ashes is off that snow right now, but you know what, sleep? Joe. I'm not gonna even bother roasting you since it's becoming more of a chore at this point. All right, these dumb goldfish are trash and going into the awful tier. Stop it, they are God tier. Shut up, Joey. I'm just gonna put them into the good tier since they're just cheddar, bro. Speaking of cheddar, whole grain cheddar is next up. And these don't taste that different compared to the regular cheddar flavor. Wrong. Anything that claims to be quote unquote healthy or gluten free or whole grain is just fake news and a sham. You do got a point. They all taste terrible and at that point, if you're trying to cut back on all that processed crap by eating these healthier versions, just don't eat the damn snack. I mean, I guess I don't think it makes that much of a difference since you're still eating all that artificial and processed fattening food, so it really doesn't make it any better. But whole grain is good for us senior citizens. Oh, quit it, Joseph. You, Towers, and Bill are the only senior citizens here. How many times do I gotta say it, Donald? We're literally the same age, and we're technically all senior citizens, even Barry. Hell no, keep me away from that. All right, this flavor is going into the mid-tier, and the flavor-blasted extra cheddar goldfish is next. Extra cheese, count me in. Yeah, these goldfish go crazy, instant god-tier fellas. Another flavor-blasted is next, but it's white cheddar, and honestly, I'm a fan of these since the cheddar taste is really prominent and solid with these compared to the Parmesan flavor. Oh yeah, this bag is gas! All these flavor blasted goldfish are miles better compared to the normal ones. Just like what Joey said, if it's more cheese, count me in, partner. This is going into the goaded tier. Looks like the last flavor is fudge brownie. Now these sound pretty banging. Only if this was a chocolate chip fudge brownie ice cream flavor, then it would be better. Here we go again with your senseless ice cream talk. Honestly, any type of chocolate goldfish are always gonna be good. You've got that right. They don't ever miss with their chocolate flavors. So this is going into the god tier and that's the entire goldfish tier. Look. Yo! I heard you're in need with some of my assistance, Bill. Oh, yes. Can you actually help me get my arm back, bro? Uh, yes and no. It's a bit complicated, man. Complicated? No! Give me a single damn answer. Yes or no? Jeez, bro. Don't get your arms in a twist. I'm armless, so I have the right to be mad. Chill, Bill. Just let George speak. The thing is, if we go back in time to prevent your arm from being cut off, then that will disrupt your canon event, causing a pocket version of a new reality with your arm fixed, which may or may not destroy this current timeline we're on, leading to fractals in the sacred timeline. Uh, what? Hey Siri, can you translate nerd talk? Listen here, you wooden teeth pest. I need my goddamn arm right now. So are you gonna help me? Jesus Christ, you're desperate.
It's a canon event, bro. It's kind of like how with Spider-Man, Uncle Ben always dies, and it needs to happen for him to become Spider-Man. Wait a second, so are you saying that Bill is gonna become a superhero since losing his arm was a canon event? Ah, uh, hell, I didn't sign up for this BS. Nah, it's not that deep for Bill, he's just an old armless man. Damn, that's tough. As Jigsaw would say, make your choice, Bill. Either you get a mechanical arm like Luke Skywalker, or you possibly risk the fate of the multiverse to get your real arm back. I don't care about this sad damn world we live in. We're all gonna die anyways, and I got nothing left to lose since I don't have my wife. I don't have my money, I can't play and beat Spider-Man, and I don't have my damn arm! <laughs> what the hell was that? A demon? Yeah, Bill is really serious right now. I guess we're gonna be out of here, but if you presidents see anything weird happening after this, you'll know why. Tally. Who? What in tarnation is going on? What's gonna happen next? Honestly, I'm a bit anxious about what's gonna happen next. Hopefully it doesn't make me miss out on nap time. It's a load of fake news coming from George Washington. Nothing is gonna happen. Anyways, it's time for member shout outs. Shout out to your average Dragon Ball Z fan. Camden, Thomas Hilberg, Caleb Halliday, Peanuts Fan 1000, Albert Moore, Melanie Elrod, Captain Skull 866, Lee Birch, Hamster World, some random guy, Maximilian Plays, Kyle Warwick Matthew, Makoto 13, Joltian 1864, Joe's Reincarnation, Eros 73, Sadek ZZ, Mr. Fatty Tyrone, Gage Corduck, Ponzi, Omji, Arapentito, C. Convertito, Zarka, Trump 2024, Droids 115, Epic Blabbit, Hunter Thompson, Manshell, Obamarama, Jaguar Stonepaw, The Mo Mechanic, Joshua O'Malley, and Ether for being our great channel members. More shout outs to Anthony VR, Nikolai FR. Money Dynamic Matanya, Otto Von Bismarck, Star Brother, Bradley Bowden, Socks, Connor the Gamer, A Normal Green Slime, Archangel 98, Bloody Red, Gaming Dragon, Quickscope Cooper, Prince Glenn Morin Infinite, Animations Guy, Winter SRF, Nostalgia Network, Bunny Garden, Smelly Boomer, Brandon Ayala, Amper Sandler, Luff Mohizamaz, and Omnilude for being the bestest, best channel members. Even more shout outs to Gabe Dudas too, Alpha Diamond, Joe V, 1998, Ballsack, Dominic Comis, Gibbero19, President's Discord Chat, V Ricochet, Deontay McGee, Mevins2001, Mark, Fabian Moans, Jordan Arness, Finn Akers for being real ones. And finally, shout outs to the Gilder7111, Media Fan50, Defender of Communism, Adamantium Asari, Spectre, and finally Alex Ovando. Have a wonderful day and look out for our Christmas themed videos.